Hi everyone. For this question, given the equation x squared minus 2 e to the power of negative x minus 1 equals to 0 has one positive root. Find the interval where the root lies. So for this question A, we can use graphical method to figure out where's the intersection point between these two graphs. From the equations, we're going to rearrange this function so that we can draw these two graphs. So we let x squared quadratic graph at left hand side. For the exponential graph, we move it to the right hand side. So from here, we can notice that one of the graph is quadratic, another graph is exponential graph. Then we draw out this graph for quadratic. This is a smiley graph where intercept on the y-axis is negative 1. So from here, we can find out the roots from this quadratic. So let the y become 0. We factorize the quadratic in order to get this quadratic roots, which is negative 1 and 1. Then we label this graph. For the second graph, it will be an exponential graph. So as we can see, this exponential graph, power is in negative x. So means that this graph is shooting to the left hand side. And then the asymptote here, you can see value behind here is 0, means your horizontal asymptote occur at y equals to 0. So we draw this exponential graph where horizontal asymptote is y equals to 0 and then this exponential graph will be shooting to the left. Then we label this graph. So in order to observe this interval, we can see the coordinates here. The intersection of this both graph happen after the coordinate x equals to 1. Then we can test another coordinate. Let's say we focus on coordinates x equals to 2. So when x equals to 2, the quadratic coordinates will go up until 3. Meanwhile, for exponential graph, when x equals to 2, so this coordinate will give you, this is 0 0.271. So from here, we can identify that at the coordinate of 2, the quadratic graph is going up, up to value of 3. And then the exponential graph is going down to reach the coordinate of 0 0.27. So from here, we can notice that the intersection of the graph it has happened. So from the graph here, we conclude that the axis of roots for this non-linear equation is in the interval of from x equals to 1 until x equals to 2. So it is in the interval of 1, 2. Then for question B, find out the first approximation for this equation. So for graphical method, we can guess our roots. It is between 1 and 2. The intersection happened after the value of 1. So the interval up to 2. So from here, we have to state out what is our first approximation. So based on this result, our first approximation, x naught will be equals to 1.5. Then we're using Newton as a method to find out what is the roots for this equation. So for question C, in order to use Newton as a method, we need our function which is equals to zero. So our function here is x squared minus 2e negative x minus 1. Then we're going to differentiate this function. So x squared differentiate we get 2x. For exponential, copy back these questions. And then differentiate its power, we get negative 1. Differentiate the co constant here, we get 0. 
simplify negative times negative, we get positive. Then we start up our Newton lesson method. So for the first approximation, x node 1.5. So x1 equals to put in the formula for Newton lesson method where x minus the function over the first derivative function in term of x equals to 1.5. Do our calculation using calculator. So write the formula where x minus the function over first derivative function 2x plus 2 exponential negative alpha x then we press calculate for the first initial value 1.5 So our questions here, it doesn't mention any decimal. So we will take the common where our answer will be put at least three significant figure. So from here, we will assume our answer need to put in three significant figure. So in calculation, we will add once two significant. So we will up to six, eight. Then repeat this process. So one more time. Then you can notice that our approximation is repeated. So from here, we can stop our calculation and then we answer the questions. The root x will be equal to 1.25 for 3 significant Figure. So back to question A, from here, we also can perform algebraic method. So our function will start from fx equals to x squared minus 2e negative x minus 1. Then we will randomly pick a value, let's say a value of 1. Then we show it the calculation. So this is negative. Then we pick another value, let's say value of 2, as long as we can select two x value that can make our function one is negative, one is positive. So from here, we can notice that our f1 is negative, f2 is positive. It have a changing of sign, so that at least one looks between that interval, one, two. 